Hi, Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings here. Time to do some crafting. You all know I love to decoupage. And I got some new decoupage. They call it tissue paper, but it's much thicker than tissue paper. Um, and I'll take a close up. It's kind of like a fiber. And if you are a sewer, it's very similar to like interfacing. But you can see, I'll take some close up pictures of it too. It's got a fiber to it. So, I'm gonna show you how to decoupage. I'm actually gonna be decoupaging a book. I love to do little staging things for around my house, and I like to have that country feel. I got this um, from Redesign with Prima, and it's the perfect color for staging stuff. Now, I like to cover books. I hate to have books on my shelf that aren't attractive to look at. Now, this book that I'll be doing today <laughs> is a diet book. I mean, it's a diet book. It didn't have a pretty cover on it. So I'm gonna make it pretty so it looks nice on my shelves and I can also use it for staging of items. Now, I've done fabric books and I will put at the end the link to the video that goes to that, but I cover books with fabric. And, you know, I have kind of different themes for different books, but they look so much better on my shelf than the ugly covers that are originally on them. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually, since I've never used this type of paper before to do decoupage, um, I usually use tissue paper, and this is a little bit thicker and more of a weave than tissue paper. So I'm going to actually experiment. I'm gonna do half the book with Mod Podge, and I'm gonna do the other half of the book using one of Dixie Bell's uh, clear coats. It's called Gator Hide. It's a waterproof, water repellent uh, top coat, and I've decoupaged with it before, but I'm gonna see how the two, I'm gonna do both. One side is gonna be with the Gator Hide, and the other side is going to be with Mod Podge. So let's go ahead and experiment, play, and I hope you join along for the entire video. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I got very lucky. This book is the exact same width as this paper. Now, so what I'm gonna be doing is, the only thing I don't like, it has a gray border on it. I know my light is pretty bright. Okay, so I dimmed the light a little bit so you can see. This does have a gray border on it and it has the title on the side. So I'm gonna paint this just so I have one solid color on the book. So let's paint it real quick. And yes, you can paint books. Okay, the color that I chose is, I'm just gonna go ahead and do, it's called Age Ivory from Flea Market Decor, which is a Dixie Belle um, manufactured paint. And it's a chalk-based paint. I put mine in separate bottles just for the ease of use and um, to keep them fresh. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Aged Ivory out here. Now you gotta keep in mind that tissue paper, look, you can see my hand through it. Whatever color you put underneath is gonna be the color that's gonna show through. So if I went with like the pure ocean, my design would disappear. If I went with uh, Dixie Belle's blue, once again, my design would disappear. That is why I'm going with a light color because this uh, paper is gonna cover, this, this tissue paper is gonna cover the entire book. So I'm just gonna use a chip brush to get it put on. Okay. And I'm just gonna paint that little stripe. Just so it doesn't peek through. See? Just going to paint this little stripe here. Just cover up that gray because I don't want that gray to um, peek through and be visible through the paper. So I'm not painting the whole book. I'm just painting the gray because the colors are very similar. There we go. So now my gray is gone. I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I let the paint dry just for a couple of hours. Um, realistically, you should let your paint sit overnight because chalk-based paints are water-based. That water sometimes will reactivate them, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this project and it's gonna be so cute. And right now I'm testing the difference between Dixie Belle's Gator Hide and Mod Podge. Now, a lot of people use Mod Podge for decoupaging and I've had great results with the Dixie Belle Gator Hide. So I'm gonna give them both a try and we'll see how it works. Okay, I'm gonna be doing one side in the Gator Hide. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna do the other side with the Mod Podge. So let's do Dixie Belle's Gator Hide first. Pour it onto a plate. And Dixie Belle's Gator Hide is a water, uh, it's a water-based top coat, but it's water repellent, waterproof. It's a, it's a clear coat sealer and I'm excited to give it a try with this. I'm gonna use a sponge brush to apply it. And I'm just gonna put a thin coat over my entire book. Making sure it's all covered. 
Now I use the, the Dixie Bells Gator Hide. I use this, this tap coat. You can use any water-based tap coat, but um, I just prefer to use the Dixie Bell. And I usually do the ironing method because I get smooth results from that when, I, when it comes to tissue paper. And so what I'm doing this right now, um, I'm not going to be doing the heating up. I'm gonna see how it works as a decoupage medium. Okay. Need to make sure I get it all covered, getting the edges. Okay. And I can back butter the paper if I want to, but I'm not going to because I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be using of it and I don't wanna get it all wet. So I'm gonna lay it over and I'm gonna have some extra left over on the edge so I can fold it over. So when I lift up the book, I'm gonna be having it folded over on the inside. I will put, de I will decoupage the inside. So, flattening this out. Okay. Okay, there we go. No air bubbles whatsoever. And what's nice about this paper is, it, like it is said, it's more of a fiber than it is a tissue paper. And so it breathes, it allows the air to come through. And so I'm not having anything as far as bubbles. It's laying nice and flat. And I'm gonna put a top coat on top of it. Let's see how this works. Normally, I always use a sponge brush when it comes to, to Mod Podge because I do not like Mod Podge on my paint brushes at all. Because um, my paint brushes are an investment. Now I do use my paint brushes for my Gator Hide. But to be fair with the comparison, I want to make sure I'm using the same tools for each. I'm just making sure that the Gator Hide is soaking through. the fibers. I will have to trim a little bit off the top. This is pretty close to the size of my book. It's just maybe a couple centimeters bigger. Okay, looking at an angle to make sure I got everything saturated with a thin coat. Like I said, normally when I decoupage, I like to do the iron method. Um, people use different methods of decoupaging. I just prefer the ironing method because um, I get a nice smooth glass finish. I think I got all oh, saturated. Not saturated, but completely covered. I'm looking for any area that I might have missed because I don't want any bubbling. But so far, the nice weave of this paper is allowing this to soak through to get on the top of the book. So I think it's gonna have a nice coverage. Okay, so now what I'm gonna be doing Okay, turn the light off so you can see it. Isn't that gonna be gorgeous? Nice and pretty, new cover, and no bubbles so far, so let's let this dry. Um, I wanna let it dry before I flip it over and do the Mod Podge comparison, but I'm using the same tools, I'm gonna use the same process, and we're gonna see which one does better. Okay, I'm back and it's dried, and it feels smooth. Nice and smooth, and here's that lip that goes under the page. Nice and attached. Worked out great. Not a bubble in there. Love it. Okay, so I'm now gonna flip it over and I'll try the other side with the Mod Podge. Like I said, I'm using sponge brushes because I do not like Mod Podge on my paint brushes. Gator Hide I'm okay with because it's easy cleanup. Mod Podge, I don't want on my good brushes. So, let's give it a try. Okay, Mod Podge is much thicker. There we go. 
And I used Mod Podge before with napkins and stuff. I just want to see how it works because with the Gator Hide, it's a product that I always have on hand and I use for most of my projects. So, but I want to do the comparison between the Mod Podge and the Gator Hide. Okay, same process as I did with the Gator Hide. Dixie Bell's Clear Top Coat, their strongest one. And using a sponge brush for both. Okay. Got I'm just getting a thin layer on there. I love this. This tissue paper has um, a nice weave to it. So, I mean, part of the, the ease of this also is this new tissue paper from Redesign. It's not like tissue paper. It's thicker, it's more like um, interfacing with sewing. And it's like a fabric almost, but it breathes. So it allows the, um, the air bubbles to escape. So this will be great on furniture. Okay, we lay this over. Push out the bubbles. And I'll trim everything off the excess when I'm done. So this is what it'll look like. I don't want to do that until I get it done tight. Okay, get some more Mod Podge out. Seal it down. Sometimes I wait until the, everything dries and then do the top coating, but uh, this just works the same way. So I'm doing it while everything is wet, allowing the Mod Podge to soak through the fabric, putting this top coat on there. Once again, this, um, this paper from Redesign, this decoupage paper, is breathing nicely, which it, what I mean by that, like I said, is it's letting the air push out through the fibers. You know, where napkins, um, you'll get those bu the bubbling and then you, you either have to use a brayer or you use the iron to get the bubbles out. But this, it's allowing, as I'm going over it with the Mod Podge and like I did the, with the top of the uh, Gator Hide, the air is pushing through the fabric. So I'm getting absolutely no, get it along the edge here. I'm getting no bubbling whatsoever. This is easy. With napkins, you know, you, you get the wrinkles sometimes. Uh, even with tissue paper, you might get the wrinkles sometimes and then you gotta really press the wrinkles out. And the nice thing is too, is I'm not gonna tear this. It's, uh, it's pretty tough. So as I'm going over it, I'm, I'm testing this, I'm experimenting. I just got this in um, to try. And so I'm kind of putting it through the ringer as well. It's, and the more I, I, I'm working with it, usually with tissue paper and napkins, you don't wanna work with it because you want, don't wanna risk the tearing. And you see how much I'm going over this. This isn't gonna tear. This is like a very breathable fabric almost, but it's thinner than fabric. It's hard to describe. Okay, so I have a full coat on it. But I'm just impressed at, one, I'm testing the Gator Hide with the Mod Podge, but two, this is a brand new uh, product from Prima, uh, redesigned with Prima. It's their new, they call it uh, decoupage tissue paper, but it's not a tissue paper. I'm gonna trim this off real quick. It's not a tissue paper. Could, see, that would have torn if I would have done that. It's like, a, oh, here, a good description, a dryer sheet you put in the dryer. That is the consistency. See, it's slightly see-through, but see the little fibers in it? So this is gonna be nice, especially if you're new to decoupaging. You're not gonna have to worry about bubbles, wrinkles, and this is strong. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not gonna tuck that in just yet. So I'm gonna let this dry. The Gator Hide side already dried, and when it, I'll come back, I gave both of them an hour. Um, I gave the Gator Hide an hour, so I'm gonna give this an hour as well. I'll come back and we'll just compare the two. How did Dixie Bill's Gator Hide hold up with decoupaging compared to the Mod Podge? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, the Mod Podge is dried, and it, it came out just as smooth. 
completely smooth. And I think a lot of that is attributed to the actual paper itself. But one thing I do notice, feeling the Mod Podge side, and feeling the Gator Hide side, the Gator Hide side feels much smoother. It has a much softer finish, and the Mod Podge has a little bit of a rougher feeling, and I'm, and I'm not sure what's attributing to that. But um, either way, they both gave a great finish as far as adhering and now I have to do the inside of the books yet. Now look at this book. <laughs> it's all dieting pictures. I do have to decoupage this uh, flap inside the book yet. But um, yeah, I can definitely feel a difference uh, between the Gator Hide. Both of them gave, look, look at that, as far as the book. Both of them gave a perfectly smooth finish. One just feels not as soft as the other. The Dixie Girl Gator Hide does come out, it feels softer, but they both have great adhesion when it comes to this fabric. Now, or tissue paper, I keep on wanting to say it's fabric, because like I said, it, it feels a lot like a dryer sheet. See, it feels, sounds, sounds soft, and it's really tough. A tissue paper would tear. Um, I'm loving this stuff. Okay, so I absolutely love how it turned out. I love everything about it. And this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.